Hi, hello, welcome back. All that good stuff, you know what it is already. Part 29 of my Battle for Middle Earth playthrough. So close to the 30 mi 30 minute? To the 30 episode mark. I don't know, 30 minute mark just sounds a lot more logical, but... Um, we did do the Dead Marshes last, or did we do Murkwood last? I guess it should be. Hmm. But I really think that i did this the last because i can remember editing a rohan video lastly and uploading that today i'm gonna i'm gonna pick gondor because i really think if my memory is not uh, uh, making me sound retarded that the last mission was with rohan so let's try gondor doesn't matter in the end anyway just gotta get those maps done on this battle plain ages ago, the forces of the last alliance broke Sauron's armies and drove them back to the very slopes of Mount Doom. Awesome, interesting. Getting really close to the Black Gate now. Destroy all Mordor forces. I suspected that we had to do something like that, yeah. Destroy all Mor 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 Mordor forces. We have a lot of uh space for encampments right at the start you guys already know what i'm doing right now what this is what it's all about what this game has to offer and it is building economy buildings that's the gist of the game that's that's what it's all about that's where the money is so yeah it, it is, is wednesday, my wednesday i think today. i don't really have like a idea of what time or day it is because well when it's vacation it's quite hard to remember which day it is, exa it is exactly normally through the week you have this like schedule you gotta keep and stuff and yeah that helps a lot of course that helps a did i not just see a building to strengthen my walls or can it really only be built here that would be interesting. Let's destroy one quickly. Yeah, this one, right? Oh, it has to be in a zone that has walls. That's cool. That's well, well thought, thought about. Well thought about. Is that something that you can say? I have no idea. Let's wait just one second for this. There we go. We did put some of our elite squad out here. And let's start then roaming and exploring this area. Because when it's cool, you always have this planning that you can relate to and uh, definitely the courses that you have on specific days help a lot uh, at reminding all right there we go help a lot at reminding you which day it is but yeah you lose that kind of schedule when you have vacation definitely um not that big of a problem though because i mean it can kind of be a nice feeling to not know what day it is anymore because that means that you you don't have a lot of stress with you I mean, if you're like, oh, I don't even care what day it is, that means that you don't have a schedule at all, like me. I normally don't have a schedule um, any time of the year, not even during exams or something. Because if you don't have a schedule, you can be behind on schedule. I've definitely talked about this before, though. Um, but yeah, you can't lose motivation because you're off schedule if you just don't have a schedule. Wow, this is quite the... Uh, pricey upgrade take them out they are ambushing our encampment over here before we got to build our turrets here which is quite sad but no problem I guess he needs to get in the middle of here right now so we can use this ability where is he closer closer just a bit more in the middle just a bit more in the middle and there we go that might be a bit overpowered i'm not sure but it definitely is strong though i can't tell you that much it definitely is strong boromir's dying gandalf's also dying but he should be fine it's just the fire arrows that are kind of hurting him a bit he can still do this is he alone or something well, look at him just standing there with that smug grin on his face, not throwing any rocks or anything. Boromir's probably gonna die. 
this and then this and then we gotta get him to do this we just got him to throw rocks that's what we want i think we are getting the improved the smitty spam which we are used to um Genlauf needs to heal up a bit so i'm just gonna let him stand over here did we build towers at this encampment yes we did these guys are still going strong you guys need to get this troop out of the way look at all this micromanagement it's it's like a whole new game. We're making a whole new game, a whole new RTS. Just as I talked about earlier, this thing, this old thing right here doesn't have that much micromanagement, but we're just introducing it for ourselves by playing hectically. Last, well, while editing the last episode this morning, I discovered a cool new thing that I'm definitely gonna make sure to do every episode following now. And that is, instead of just some regular text with nothing special about it just adding like a little bit of back shadow really goes a long way in improving the look of the text that you include in your video so i'm definitely gonna do that from now on every time he's just dying without doing doing anything all right these guys are fine now they definitely need to help out gimli up here don't just stand there please don't just stand there your time is too valuable to just stand there. He, he just keeps letting himself die. It's not that good, huh? Let's have him heal up a bit. He is also in some trouble, but he should be fine. He should definitely be fine. Yeah, he's fine, he's fine. Everyone's fine. Alright, we're gonna expand our elite squad over here a bit with some of these archers. Just cause, I mean, they are pumping out quite a lot of troops again like always i think i missed no i didn't miss at all awesome all right who needs to heal the most he's fine right now so he doesn't really need to heal uh i think gimli probably needs to heal the most right now where is gimli well no he doesn't because he's alone over here he needs to heal the most he needs the everyone needs to heal the most Stun nearby enemies and you guys need to run back a bit all of you run back to this encampment with the towers They'll help you guys out, right? Faramir you can go and help out these guys You guys need to get some work out some work done over here and let's advance and see if they have an encampment up here, too All right talking a lot about gameplay um, I was talking about the, the new text thing I found so yeah, it's just a, a small piece of shading that you introduce to your text and it makes it look 10 times better in my opinion so that's something i'm definitely gonna do uh, every time from now on that i have to include some text in my videos well have to i mean that i decide to include some enemies uh, some some text in my videos all right interesting so i do have to buy the upgrade here as well if i would want to have the special arrows in this encampment because i did buy it over here right yeah i did buy it so these guys have the special arrows but if i want them in this encampment i need to buy it again over here so i need to build another one of those buildings but i'm not gonna do that for now is he able to use his horn again horn again no he's not gonna be able to use his horn again that's for sure my bad sorry for the bad language but I do intend to, um, like, a kind of appeal to a bit of an older audience. So I think I am not gonna be, like, really inclined to never swear. Because I do want to swear. Because that's just the kind of person I am as well. And, yeah. Um, if that makes it unwatchable for kids, well, so be it. They are not really the target art audience I want to go for. Maybe it is the main audience that I'm getting right now or something. I wouldn't know, but sure. I think I can know. Actually, I think I can kind of like watch some statistics about my viewers age as well. But I have no idea. Boromir's almost dying again over here. It is too much for who? For Boromir? Well, wow, sure, you can do it. Faramir helped them out a bit. Uh, these guys need some more help, I think. Is Gandalf fine up here? Yes, they are. Aragorn is just going in. 
that troop of the dead will help out a lot. Boromir is really dying. Come on, come on, you guys. You can do these. Gimli can do a bit of a jump. You guys can start on focusing that building. Gimli can now do this. Let's go back to these guys over here. Let's move along. Get our entire elite squad moving. I can heal Gandalf up with this. Are these towers gonna be enough to defend this? I don't know. Let's send one troop forward and get them to focus this real quick. Who is still over here? Just our heroes. I'm gonna quickly get this building out of the way first. Oh, he must get to safety. Alright, there's a lot of enemies. So I'm just gonna do this again. Awesome, awesome. I think Legolas is just standing in our base, is that correct? It absolutely is. And there we go. Let's move him along over here. Let's get our army of the dead over here to clear out all of these troops first before we do anything else. And now all of these guys can attack some buildings. Gandalf can do his electricity over here. You can pop all your abilities. Elendil, it's a really cool one. I really enjoy that one. Ah, all right. How are you guys doing? I know you can't talk to me, but I can ask anyway. Like, be right, be polite. Looking forward to eating uh, in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna eat the rest, the rest of the mac and cheese that my mom made yesterday. It was, uh, it was really delicious, really good. Uh, at least as good as the one that I had in America when I was in California. Um, yeah, it was, it was definitely definitely worthy of a king that meal i really enjoyed it um she like put some great cheese on the top at the end and put it in the oven to get this kind of crust you guys know what i'm talking about um, really makes a big difference flavor wise like really adds a lot of flavor to it click on to focus a bit legolas is over here for some reason gandalf is dying does he have his heal again? He definitely does. Alright, that helps out a bit. Just get this camp out of the way and then you can focus those two troops that are still here. Alright. Glad that we had our our horses power for this one. Or Rohan power, I should say. Gonna quickly get this encampment so that they can build any, any encampments here. These guys over here, fine. Yeah, definitely. Where's Gimli? Gimli should help out a bit. Legolas, you can do um, you can do this over here. No, you're too far. You can just do this then. Mm, bit of a burp, bit of a burp. Oh, Gimli's doing this over here. The, all right, that was I had I needed some quick fingers for that one. There's still so many troops on the move for them. It's insane. Let's build some towers over here, they'll be done fast enough so that they won't die. Sadly Gandalf doesn't have his power yet, he can do this again though. And that was that was pretty effective, Gandalf's, moves right, Gandalf's move right there I should say. Faramir is over here dying because Boromir is not helping them, these guys need to move up. I guess this guy is also just stilling, chilling somewhere, he sure is, he sure is. Quickly gonna use this to stun the entire map. Uh, these guys are just standing up here for no reason. He has this power back, so I'm gonna use this again. I'm gonna get some more towers going here. There we go, just on the front side. Not gonna bother building any on the back side because they won't reach the back side. Um, do we have any more powers to use? Yes, we do. We can use the elves to distract, um, to distract the surrounding troops and then we can use our heroes to actually get rid of the buildings. You guys can try and destroy the buildings a bit because heroes are very effective to destroy buildings as we know already. Let's make sure we don't get too cocky though and realize that we have to realize that heroes can't do everything. Alright, this is gonna be epic again. Over here. There we go. I really like that. I really like that ability. It's so cool. Um, what's happening down here? You guys are just standing here. That's not good. Go and help him out. You guys need to clear out some more troops as well. Whew. 
there's so much happening at once we're introducing a bit too much micro management micro management maybe i can't use that um effectively here I'm gonna let gimli move back a bit uh gandalf's dying again why why am i not using these troops to just clear out this i i don't know why i'm always so focused on getting kind of an elite squad out there instead of just using my army um yeah might have severe brain damage or something that could be the reason of course couldn't it shouldn't laugh about those things like it, i mean severe is in the name so it's it's definitely not a laughable matter right later today i'm gonna go squashing with my girlfriend and stuff like we are prone to do um it's gonna be the second time this week already because we went squashing yesterday as well uh, that was to compensate for me and my girlfriend not being here last saturday which is the day we normally go uh, because we were in ghent we had our trip that i've talked about many a times before already really feel uh homesick to that to that place where we stayed like it was it was an amazing amazing bed and breakfast i definitely want to go back there someday if we have the money i guess but it shouldn't really be a problem this is gonna sound a bit cocky maybe but i mean money normally isn't that big of a problem but sure i am gonna say that it was it was a bit of an expensive trip it was a bit on the expensive side I'm gonna let him use his horn. Oh, Faramir's dead already. I used it not in time. Just randomly gonna respawn him somewhere. And he has to move back. We are warriors of the Shire. These guys still fighting up here. They always are. Mm, this should be fine, yeah, because they're just standing there. These guys are still just killing some random troops that are coming from up there. Does that mean that there is another encampment up here? Let's quickly check this out. I'm gonna let them advance. Advance, I should say. Yeah, there is another encampment up here. They have a lot of encampments this mission. Jesus Christ. Right, let's try and focus on a couple of time things at once again, as we are doing have been doing this entire episode. I'm gonna use my army of the dead here. These guys are dying again. Mm. You two can focus this this uh, the, this troop while the rest focuses these things up here. These are still fine, yes they are, because they have the army of the dead, but they are gonna be gone in a second, I guess probably. I'm gonna let him do this. Is Boromir fine? Yeah, he's just standing there, but that's great for now because he was getting a bit low health. The enemy has settled everywhere already, don't you know that yet? Like they have encampments just everywhere all over the map. But I think we are almost getting rid of them completely. And I don't think we lost that many troops in the in the process. Maybe some, but I, I'm not sure. Go a bit faster with that ability. You guys get the towers out of the way still. Are these guys fine? Looks like they are. Let's get some elves to help them out. Mm. all right we are we have to focus on a lot of things at one if you haven't if you haven't noticed yet uh, all right let's advance up a bit and try and get some more buildings out of the way over here is gandalf still doing something up here no they're not you guys can help out these guys they are still doing fine over here i think i think we might have this mission from the first time but it was not without a fight the enemy definitely did put up a nice fight and i didn't have any time to do insightful commentary about anything it was just 20 minutes of purely gameplay focused commentary because it was so stressful this mission but in the end, I still see 295, and that's a number I think I remember from earlier. So this might be it. If they didn't, ha if they might have another encampment up there still. Let's see. They do have another encampment up here still, I think. Uh, let's build one here so that they can't mm, rebuild their forces over here. Let's get some of our reinforcements up here as well. This is going without a problem. Gandalf, you can just kill them instead of just standing there. 
look at this micro management look at this professional rts playing over here i could be a starcraft 2 professional by now don't quote me on that <laughs> uh seeing people play starcraft has always been fascinating for me because they know all the key bindings by heart and stuff and yeah it's it's an impressive sight did they rebuild this no they didn't is there another encampment up here then i think it is because the troops keep running out from here you guys need to stop just dying and fight back oh there's another one down here as well aragon i'm just gonna let you go and do this it's the enemy's encampment stop moving along then and clear the encampment please these guys are still going fine they'll help out over here all right i'm just gonna let him do this real quickly here just to clear it out a bit haha <laughs> we have destroyed them i heard there's another encampment up here even and i really hope they haven't started building some back up here because i forgot to build that and occupy occupy the spaces all right we have destroyed them for like the 50th time already get our ants up here to help them out you guys need to move along and help them out again we did complete all the objectives 20 <laughs> they're gonna build another one here aren't they where was it even where was it even was it like up down here or something do they have some down here i'm kind of out of the loop now on what's happening because it's just so many things at once i definitely should have make made sure to occupy all the build spaces instead of just sporadically doing that we shall remember this day and they have rebuilt this all right i need to i need to start rebuilding the encampments instead of just clearing it and then standing there mm -hmm. let's make sure this one gets cleared out without that much that much trouble because we did lose some troops now but hopefully regeneratable troops if that's a word all right please let this be the last one please i've just been rambling about the gameplay for 23 minutes hopefully the next mission will be a bit of a calmer mission because i definitely want to talk about some more interesting things instead of just talking about nothing at all but yeah you guys are probably used to it by now that this series is just complete chaos like half of the time but I do actually hope that this is going to be the last one though. And I think it might be. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it should be, I think. So yeah, 275. So we definitely made some losses. That sucks. That, that really sucks. But I do hope that this is their last encampment at least. They're putting up a fight over here though. Like they're rebuilding their buildings more quickly. Please, I beg you. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. The shadow has been turned back. Hopefully we didn't suffer too many severe losses. And hopefully in the next episode I will get some more time to talk about some other stuff than the game itself. Mm, what did we even talk about? Did we even talk about anything at all? I really have to dig into my mind to think about what we talked about but i we talked about some some schedule i rem <coughs> i remember us talking about schedule and then we talked about gent a bit as well and i'm just gonna leave it at that sure sure all right thanks a lot for watching i hope to see you in the next one which will hopefully be a bit less hectic and uh bye bye